Hello everyone, welcome back to Azure SQL Mastery and in this video, I will show you how you can create a code snippet to generate a quick SQL code without any syntax error as well as how you can create your own custom code snippet. So let's get started. Open the Azure Data Studio. So here we are going to perform a five steps using the code snippet. First, we are going to create the database. Second, we are going to uh, create the table. Third, we are going to add, add a column in an existing table. Fourth, we are going to insert a data. And fifth, we are going to create our own custom code snippet. Okay, so let's take an example. You are a new in a SQL server and you want to create a database using the SQL code. So for that, you can use a code snippet. Now in Azure Data Studio, all the code snippet start with the SQL. So first step, I want to create a database. Type SQL and create database. So now the ready-made code is available for you. You have to just replace a database name with the actual name. So I want to create the database code snippet. So type code snippet. Okay. And select the code and click a run button. Okay. So the command completed successfully. Let's refresh the database folder. Now, so the database is now available. Now I want to create a table inside this database. So right click new query and for creating a new table, the ready-made code snippet is SQL create table. Okay, so this is a time table. Okay, SQL create table. Okay, so again, you have to just replace a table name with actual table name. So, so here I want to create a table name employee. So type employee and now give the actual column name. So first column is name and the second column is address. Select the code and click on a run button. So commands completed successfully. Let's refresh the table folder. So employee table got created. Now I want to add a column in an existing table means in employee table. So for that, the code snippet is already available. So type SQL add column. Now replace this new column name with actual column name. So I want to add a mobile and a table name so table name is employee select the code and run let's quickly check select star from employee so now the mobile column is exist now let's say i want to insert a data inside this employee table so for that type sql insert table okay now just replace the table name with actual name so my employee and uh, column name so you have to give uh, actual column name so id comma name comma address comma mobile and actual data so one comma comma india comma mobile number and here i want to insert only one row so i'm going to remove this select the code and run so the one row affected let's quickly check okay so now we have successfully insert the data in employee table so we have completed four steps using the sql code snippet 
and till now all the code snippets are available in the azure data studio now you have to create your own code snippet so in the sql server 2016 we have a facility that we can drop uh, any object using this if exist statement it means that if the table is exist then it will drop otherwise it will not throw any error because let's say i just give you a small example in my code snippet database salary table is not exist now i want to drop table salary so when i run this command it will give the error cannot drop the salary because the it, it it does not exist or you do not have a permission but if i use a new syntax it will not throw the error okay now i want to create my own code snippet using this syntax so for that you have to type control shift p and type user sniff it so open the user configure the user sniff it click and type sql okay now here you want to write the code so let's do it so here again i am going to start with the sql so sql drop if exist let me copy the code and here there are three parameter prefix description and body so let me first set the prefix so sql drop if exist then i want to set the body inside the body i want to set my code so what is my code my code is this okay so let me add it first okay so first drop table okay so here i want to drop any object any object type it's might it might be a table or view or function or a database so here my first parameter is object type so dollar one so dollar one means my first parameter and type object type in the if exist here the you have to give the actual object name so this this one is my second parameter so let's do it so so dollar two and object name okay now here you want to replace the actual name with a parameter the first parameter is dollar one and second parameter is dollar two give the okay sorry this is a body and this is a description okay so inside the description just give the name uh, you can drop any database object with new sql 20 cent 16 syntax save the file and format it close the file and now let's quickly check so control n and here first uh, select the database so database is code snippet and and type the code snippet sql drop if exist great now here you have to just replace the name so my object type so here i want to 
drop the table employee so my object type is table and my object name is employee select the code and run so command completed successfully let's refresh the folder so now no more table is exist similarly let's say i want to drop my database or i want to drop a view so you can just replace the object type with actual object type and object name with actual table or view name okay similarly let's say if you want to drop a database so in object type is my database and object name is actual database name so my database name is code snippet okay now you have to add one more syntax while drop the database use master okay let me close all the query first run command completed successfully let's refresh the database folder now the code snippet database is no more exist in my server so i hope you like this video see you in the next video